In this lesson, we are going to calculate support reactions for frame width hinges. If you take a look at the screen, we have a frame that has two pin support. We have one pin support at point A and another pin support at point A. So meaning we are going to have four unknown reactions. Now, I know you might be thinking that this is going to be a statically indeterminate structure because we have four unknown reactions. What you need to know is we have one inch at point C, as you can see. And because we have one inch at point C, this is going to reduce the degree of indeterminacy from 4 to 3 because inches, they reduce degree of indeterminacy. You need to make an assumption on the direction of these forces. We are going to say all the vertical forces is acting upward while all the horizontal forces is acting to the right. And if we have a positive value, our assumption is right. But if we have a negative value, our assumption is wrong. They are acting in the opposite direction. So this is going to be AY acting upward and AS acting to the right. Then for the pin support at point A, we are going to have EY acting upward and ES acting to the right. Now, as you can see, we are having a distributed load of 6 kip per foot. What you need to do is, we need to replace it with an equivalent force. How can we do this? We are going to say the area of this rectangle. So we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle. So this is going to be the length then multiplied by the width. The length is going to be 12 feet, while the width is going to be 6 kip per feet. So 12 multiplied 6, this is going to give us 72. So we are going to have 72 keep and this is going to be acting at the middle so we're going to have 72 keep so this is 72 keep and this is acting at the middle of this rectangle now what we need to do we just need to calculate the reactions now we are going to calculate ey how can we calculate ey what we need to do is we need to take summation of moments at point a equal to zero because if we do this, AS, AY, and AS is going to be equal to zero because they are all passing through point A. Because we know that moment is equal to force times distance. In order for us to have moment, we need a force and a distance. So because they don't have any distance, meaning there won't be any moment produced. So we are going to say summation of the moment at point A is equal to zero. Now we are going to assume all the movements in the counterclockwise direction to be positive while all the movement in the clockwise direction to be negative now if we have ey acting upward if we try to apply this on the frame which relative to the pin support at a it's going to try to rotate this frame in the counterclockwise direction so many we are going to have positive value so this is going to be ey so this is positive ey they multiply by the distance. So what is the distance? The distance from EY to the pin support at point A is 24 feet because this is 12 plus 12. So this is going to give us 24 feet. So this is 24 feet. Now we have 18 keep and this is acting downward. Now if we apply this force on this frame with relative to point A, it's going to try to rotate the frame in the clockwise direction. So we're going to have negative value. So this is negative 18 keep. Then multiply by the what is the distance? The distance is going to be 6 feet plus 12 feet. So this is going to give us 18 feet. So this is multiplied by 18 feet. Then we have 72 keep. If we apply 72 keep on this frame, which relative to the pin support at point A is going to try to rotate the frame in the clockwise direction. So we are going to have negative. So this is negative 72 k. Then multiply by a distance. So what is the distance? The distance is going to be half of 12 feet. So this is going to give us 6 feet. So this is multiplied by 6 feet. So because we don't have any additional force, then this is going to be equal to 0. So all you need to do, you just need to find EY. So if you calculate EY, you are going to get EY, this is equal to 31.5 keep. So EY is equal to 31.5 keep. So this is going to be the value of EY. Because we are having a positive value, 
so meaning our assumption is right this is indeed acting upward now let's calculate a y how can we calculate for a y we just need to take summation of all the forces in the vertical direction equal to zero so we're going to say summation of all the forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero and we are going to say all the forces acting upward is positive while all the forces acting downward is negative so we are having ey ey is 31.5 keep and this is acting upward so it is going to be positive so this is positive 31 positive 31.5 keep then we are having 18 keep 18 keep is acting downward so this is going to be negative so this is negative 18 keep this is negative 18 keep and we also have a y and a y is acting upward so this is going to be positive so this is positive a y so because we don't have any additional vertical force so this is equal to zero now if you solve for a y you are going to get a y this is equal to negative 13 point five keep so a y is equal to negative thirteen point five keep as you can see we are having a negative value so meaning this is acting downward so meaning our assumption is wrong it is acting in the opposite direction so a y is thirteen point five keep and it is acting downward now what we need to do we need to calculate a s and e s now how can we calculate this if we take summation of all the horizontal forces equal to zero we won't be able to calculate as and es because we are still going to be left with as and es so we won't be able to calculate this now what you need to do is we now need to use this age to evaluate this we need to use this age to find the remaining reaction now what we are going to do is we are going to make a session or we are going to cut a session at the Inch. So we are going to cut the session at point C. The, now we are going to look to the left. So we are going to cut the session and look to the left. So we are going to have something like this. So this is to the left. So this is the pin support at point A. So meaning at point A we are having a Y and this is acting downward. So this is 13. This is 13 point five keep then we are having as this is adding to the right then we are also having the distributed load we are also having the distributed load and if you remember we resolve this as 72 keep so this is 72 this is 72 keep now this is the point c this is the point c so this is where we have the inch now you need to know that whenever we make a session at the point we are going to have at most three unknown forces we are going to have an unknown force in the vertical direction so we're going to have cy we're also going to have an unknown force in the horizontal direction c s then we are going to have an unknown bending moment because this is an inch we know that whenever we have inch there won't be any moment produced because summation of moments at inch is equal to zero so knowing this we are going to use this logic to evaluate the value of a s so i want to say summation of moment at point c is equal to zero summation of moments at point c this is equal to zero i'm going to assume the movement in the counterclockwise direction to be positive while the movement in the clockwise direction to be negative so as you can see we are having 72 keep if we apply 72 keep on this frame with relative to the point c is going to try to rotate this frame in the counterclockwise direction so we're going to have a positive value so this is going to be positive 72 keep so this is 72 keep then multiplied by the distance so what is going to what is going to be the distance 
the distance is going to be half of 12 feet so this is going to be 6 feet so this is the distance from 72 k to the point c so this is going to be 6 feet now we have 13.5 cube and this is acting downward if we apply this with relative to the point c it is going to try to rotate this frame in the counterclockwise direction so this is positive so this is positive 13.5 cube then what about the distance the distance is going to be 12 feet as you can see the distance is 12 feet so we are going to have multiplied by 12 feet now what about as this is what we want to calculate as is going to rotate this frame in the counterclockwise direction so this is going to be positive as well so this is positive as then multiply by the distance what is the distance the distance is going to be 12 feet as you can see the distance is going to be 12 feet so this is going to be multiplied by 12 feet so we don't have any additional force so this is equal to zero so what we need to do we just need to find as so if we find as so as is negative 49.5 cube as you can see we're having a negative value so meaning this is adding to the left our assumption is wrong this is adding to the left so this is going to be the value of as so what we need to do we need to find the remaining reaction which is as so we're going to go back to the original structure so we're going to take the summation of all the forces in the horizontal direction equal to zero so doing this we are going to solve for as so i'm going to say summation of all the forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero and we're going to say the forces acting to the right is positive while the forces acting to the left is negative as you can see we are having as and as is acting to the left this is 49.5 cube so meaning this is negative so this is negative 49.5 cube then we are having 72 cube and this is acting to the right so this is going to be positive so this is positive 72 cube now we are having as this is what we want to calculate as is adding to the right so this is positive so this is positive as is equal to zero so all you need to do you just need to find as so if you calculate as you are going to get as is equal to negative 22.5 keep so this is going to be the value of es negative 22.5 cube as you can see this is negative so meaning our assumption is wrong this is acting to the left so these are the forces ey is 31.5 cube it is acting upward ay is 13.5 cube it is acting downward as is 49.5 cube it is acting to the left while es is 22.5 cube and it is also acting to the left 